Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for the first of uh, what's going to be a new running installment here on the channel called Slab and Gab. So basically, uh, this is exactly what it sounds like. Um, the way this came about is that I have a lot of slabbed cards, graded cards in my collection. I really enjoy graded sports cards and even non-sports cards. Uh, but what I don't have a lot of is time. Uh, things have gotten a little bit hectic here. Uh, past couple months with uh, the job and some other stuff going on and I expect that to continue for you know a couple or a few more months at least uh, a lot of travel a lot of time spent away from home so um, thought this might be a good way to get some quick episodes out there and basically what I'm going to do in these installments is just take a look at a single graded card from my collection and just talk about it quickly so I think I'll try to keep these you know under five minutes in length if I can, certainly, uh, you know, no, not much more than that. And I uh, wanted to start off today with an athlete who I have a tremendous amount of respect for and who I think is a very underrated, uh, even today and in this market, uh, baseball player, and that's David Ortiz, Big Poppy. So obviously I'm uh, biased here being a Red Sox fan, uh, but I've, I've just been a huge Ortiz guy. Um, I was going to a ton of games um, during the period where he was on the team, uh, you know, that stretch from, you know, early 2000s through, you know, 2015 or so is definitely the period of my life where I was attending the most Red Sox games per season by far. Um, so he, you know, kind of presented me with a lot of really good sports memories. Um, you know, he's, he's, in my opinion, absolutely bound for the Hall of Fame. Uh, he never won an MVP, uh, but he did win three World Series championships. And as far as clutch, absolute clutch hitting goes... In the postseason, there was maybe nobody better um, that I've seen, you know, in, in my lifetime, at least on my favorite team. So I've uh, been focusing on on getting some Ortiz cards. I, I, As I said, I really do think he's sort of undervalued and underrated. And I think when he gets the call to the hall, he's going to uh, command a little bit more respect and his hobby prices are going to see a surge. Um, and I'm actually trying to focus. So for many years, I was a Red Sox collector and uh, a team collector um, and because of that I don't have a lot of his stuff from early in his career with the Twins uh, prior to the Red Sox so I've been trying to focus on filling in some of those gaps and you can see in the background here a couple of Topps Chrome uh, base cards that I've picked up from the, that era uh, off of Sport Lots here and I've shown each of those on the channel in the past and today I have a slab that I'm particularly proud of um, that sort of complements these two nicely uh, I don't have very many slab Ortiz cards. Um, th this is not technically a rookie. I believe his rookie cards come in 1997, uh, and this is actually a 98, but um, it's a really nice card. And what I love about this one is the deal that I got on it. Um, you know, I've talked about this a lot of times on the channel before, uh, but I very much am one of those collectors who uh, thrives on, you know, PSA 9s or anything below a 10 and was able to take advantage of that here. So this is a base card from 1998, and it's from Bowman's Best. And it's graded a PSA 9, so apologies for the light here. Uh, it's not cooperating too well. There's a lot of background glare on this particular card, but um, beautiful card here. I love the 1998 Bowman's Best um, design. It sort of has like a, a baseball feel to it. You can see the stitching here uh, in the ball behind David. You've got that metallic foil uh, border along the left and bottom. Um, this is a nice sort of kind of candid shot of Big Poppy uh, in his early days. Obviously, you know, skinnier guy, very young. He would have been in his early 20s here. Uh, obviously, you know, if this came out in 1998, the photo was taken prior to that. So he was either, you know, 21 or younger. Um, and I, I just love the, the photograph. I love that smile that we uh, came to know, uh, you know, as Red Sox fans so many years later. And I, I think cards from this era, I know I'm not alone in this. I've talked with uh, my buddy Peeps about this extensively. Uh, but I think cards from this late 90s, early 2000s era are uh, underappreciated maybe, or I guess I would say have some room to grow uh, in the hobby. And so I'm really glad I was able to bring that one home now. And the best part about this, I, I picked this up for $23. So, you know, about what it would cost to submit a card to PSA. And I got a pretty amazing second year Big Poppy. So there you have it. That's my latest uh, David Ortiz slab. And I hope you enjoyed this. And absolutely, uh, you know, keep an eye out for future episodes of Slab and Gab here on the channel. 
Until then, take care, everyone.